What's up guys, yeah this is a video on how to make a bell siphon and a grow bed for your aquaponic system. It's fairly simple, just go ahead and go get the materials from Home Depot. What you really want to go get is a bulkhead so it can have a waterproof seal around the hole that you're going to cut. And uh, just this is how it's going to be assembled. This is the top of the bulkhead. It's going to screw on with this fitting and then you're going to put like a pipe in here. And that's going to be your stand pipe. And it's going to be standing up like that so it can expel the water out. And then sometimes when you put a larger fitting on top, it can take the water out a lot easier as well too. And for the bottom side, you're going to connect this to the bottom side. And then you're going to make your whatever fittings you want to expel the water. Let me go ahead and assemble that so you can have So this is what out. it looks like when it's assembled. The standpipe is going to be sitting like an inch below the gravel height so it can siphon the water out and also this is what it looks like in the bottom and you can create whatever piping system that you want just to fit your needs so basically it's going to flow throughout whatever you want to put it in. To create a bell siphon there's many ways and usually people use PVC piping but I just use a bottle because it's readily available and uh, it's easy. And basically, how this is set up is when the siphon activates, this water is going to be uh, basically uh, going down. And when it hits these slits right here, air is going to go into these slits and break the siphon. And then that's what's going to cause it to go back up, or the water level to go back up. And also to aid that, I also put it a a breather hose in here so it can help break the siphon as well so what this is gonna do is basically sit over the standpipe and when the water rises and it hits this level right here for the standpipe then the suction is gonna start and then the water is gonna be sucked out and then when it goes down to the slits air is gonna break the siphon and then it's gonna fill right back up again you can also construct a cover as well too. Just use a PVC piping or a cup like this. Just cut out the bottom. Drill some holes right here. And then when you place it over the standpipe right here, the gravel cannot get in. And then you just simply just place your bell siphon right in there. And then it just houses the whole unit. There's going to be the demonstration of the bell siphon in action. I filled up the water already. As you can see, it's almost to the standpipe right here. So what we're going to do is just place the bell siphon around the standpipe. Let me just go ahead and put some more water in. And gradually the water is going to fill up, overflow the standpipe, and the standpipe is going to catch the water and the siphon is going to activate. Okay. And it's starting to suck out and go into the bucket right here. There. See? how the water is siphoning out. Let's give some time. There's quite some water in here, so it's going to take a while. See, as a see-through bottle, you can kind of see it a little easier right here. when it hits the slits and then the water drops. Now water will just keep on pumping in and it'll rise back up and drain again accordingly. Uh, and then the next step is just basically fill up the, uh, your grow bed with gravel and you should be done. Uh, thanks for watching guys.